Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. What a view to wake up to this morning, hey? We stayed last night in this beautiful little stone hut next to the little stone village of Nymphaeo in Greece. The sun hasn't yet risen over the trees. It is freezing cold, but it's really spectacular. We actually pitched up our tent inside the stone hut and we made a fire last night as well. Look at that. We just need marshmallows now. <laughs> so we had a really cozy night. It was probably the best protection we could have had for a cold night. When we came outside during the night, it was freezing out here yeah. and windy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so good inside the hut. Unfortunately, we can't travel with a stone hut. But today it's time to head down from the mountains and then back up to another set of mountains. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and today we are heading south to reach a place called the Papingo Hairpin Road, somewhere around here. Yesterday, one of the guides at the bear sanctuary we visited told us that our ticket is valid for a wolf sanctuary, which is nearby. So that's where we're going to be heading to first. And then we're going to finish the afternoon with some crazy, crazy hairpins and possibly a river camp. Yes, I'm really excited. I can't wait. It's just a short ride to the wolf sanctuary, but we still have to pack up everything. So better hit the road. Let's go. Okay, let's just have a check inside. Leave no trace, guys. Except I left a bunch of firewood for the next people. Goodbye, awesome hut. Ready to rock and roll? Totally. Oh, yes. Bye, beautiful hut. Yeah, what a cool place to spend the night, hey? Oh, I'm so thankful. We had such a good night. I mean, yes, in the night, our sleeping bag zip broke a little bit at about two o'clock but we could just about fix it well it wouldn't be a night on the road without some equipment going wrong breaking our sleeping bag's getting so old now hold on a second this is a little bit airy <laughs> let's get up to this tarmac road here yeah yeah our sleeping bags are like six years old so i don't blame the zip for wanting to give up no but otherwise my god was this cozy yeah that hut saved us last night because yeah. up here in the mountains it's yeah. getting really really cold sleeping in a stone hut check it's just a quick ride to the wolf sanctuary and actually i'm not sure if i have ever seen wolves in my life no i definitely haven't seen wolves before in the wild or anywhere so that would be really really cool yeah that's gonna be really nice and it's a nice surprise because we only came here for the bear sanctuary and it was only yesterday that they told us that oh there's actually a wolf sanctuary you guys can go to for free with the same ticket we were like yes please whoa look at these views in the morning absolutely stunning And this little village up here in the mountains, Nymphaeo, where every single building and every single wall is made of stone. It is so beautiful up here. Yeah, it's such a charming village. I was really surprised yesterday when we came in. Yeah, I had no idea that Greece had like stone villages in the mountains. Okay, look at these houses. Incredible. Look at that, hey? <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Wow. So the wolf sanctuary is basically down at the bottom there. Wow, we are really high up. Cool. Look at that view, hey? Wow. <laughs> wow. I really don't like getting too close to the edge here. <laughs> Whoa, that's some kind of drop. <laughs> nice and easy, nice and slow, my love. Yeah, and it's really unnerving that actually these barriers seem to have been hit quite a few times as well. <laughs> Like, who is hitting these barriers? Oh my god.
Bye, Bumblebee. Bye, Bumblebee. The sun's out now. It's nice and warm again. Yeah. <laughs> Back down in the valley. And this is the entrance to the place. Look at this. Wow. Kind of an entry, hey? This is nice. It feels wild. Hello, welcome. My name is uh, Maria. We are at the protection area of wolves and lynxes here in Arcturus in northern Greece. So the area is a natural habitat of wolves. This is why the sanctuary is here. Today we host nine wolves and three lynxes that get, they came from zoo in Europe, from zoos. In the past these animals were in captivity and now we try uh, to make them feel like they are in the wild. We have to feed them and to take care of them. Uh, 75 acres into four sectors three packs of wolves and three uh, lynxes that they live all together happily. <laughs> <laughs> That's really really Thank good. Thank you for your support. Yeah. And how long have you been working here? Uh, eight years. Eight years. <laughs> I'm a tour guide to the sanctuary of wolves and the bears and uh, I am on the educational team of Arcturus that we make presentations in school for kids to uh, let them know about the wild animals in Greece. That's amazing. Amazing work you're doing. <laughs> We were last night like on the mountain mm -hmm. next to the sanctuary camping. A little stone building there. Yes. We, we slept inside the building. Okay, it was it's quite a, nice. It's very small. Yeah. It is yes. small, it's just enough for a tent. Yeah. We yes. put our tent inside and we could sleep inside there. So we, we did the same uh, camp night a uh, month before. Oh, cool. At the same place. Yes. And this village up there, like the stone village. In Fell. Uh, this is the old village? Yes. 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 Did they stay there the whole year? Yes. In the mountains. But uh, it's, uh, I think, twenty-five people. Okay. The whole year. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just twenty-five <laughs> people. Most of them are. Uh, they have clock with sips. Yes. Uh, and the others has the the tavern, the coffee. Oh yes. Okay. The businesses. Yeah. The businesses. <laughs> yeah. This place we camped was beautiful. I love this yes. area. Lovely. Oh. Oh, yes, Very nice. The lake there, yeah. it's amazing. So we will stay here for a little. It's the point with the um, okay. polar wolves. Oh, okay. So here at the sanctuary, there are nine wolves in total, and they're divided into three different enclosures. And in this enclosure, there are three polar wolves. Polar wolves. Polar wolves, and they have white fur. These wolves came from a zoo in Italy that was closed down because of the bad conditions, not being fed properly. And um, the government asked this organization to keep them here. It should be quite easy to see though, because they're white. Yeah. I can't really see them here. Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. see one right now coming <laughs> out for us just to show his beautiful face <laughs> wow they look so beautiful and totally white can't see him yeah it's like He's not moving at the moment. There? Yeah. Look! Oh wow! Wow! We created now this apartment. We will host jackals also from zoo. Oh, okay! Yes. They will come from a um, uh, zoo in Europe. I don't remember the country. Okay. Uh, three. Three of them. Three of them. And jackals as well are, are in the wild here? Yes, we find them uh, the biggest population in Peloponnese, but now we also have jackals uh, in uh, Pindos, Iperos generally, and maybe in the area also. Okay. The whole sanctuary, it will be not the sanctuary of wolves, it uh, will be sanctuary of lynxes, jackals and wolves. Okay, yes, so you have to keep changing the logo. Exactly, yes. <laughs> yes. Do you think it's necessary to have lynxes, jackals and wolves for a healthy ecosystem? You need all of these. Of course. And the bears. And bears. And the deers. And deers. Yes. Each one do a job in, in the forest that improve the biodiversity, of yeah. course. So our volunteers are uh, <gasps> from countries in Europe. Okay. Yanis 
Hello. From France. Okay. From France. And uh, he's here. Bonjour. <laughs> he's here to take care the, of the Greeks of the dogs. Oh, wow. it's super interesting because one of the conservation tactics that Arcturus is doing here to protect the bears and wolves in the wild, they're actually breeding pure Greek shepherd dogs and giving them to the livestock farmers in the mountains to help them to protect their livestock from the increased population of bears and wolves. Because of course, if there's no pure Greek shepherd dogs to protect the livestock, then the farmers are gonna start to attack the wolves, attack the bears, and try to defend their livestock from these animals. So it's a really interesting way that they're helping to protect the wolves and bears. It's amazing. Yanis, he will be there for five months because oh. we have first to uh, make them feel like mm, to know ah. him, yeah? To know him, exactly. Okay. Wow, so it takes a long time before he can even touch them, like, yes. or go close. They don't like cuddling anyway. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, wolfies. <laughs> <laughs> so Maria told us that actually this break in the fence was made by a local wild bear wanting to come down from the mountains and go and drink at the river which is just over there and basically broke through Arcturus's fence. <laughs> so cute! You can't be angry with a bear, you know? <laughs> They're just doing what they do, you know? They don't need much, just the bear necessities. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Another awesome, awesome place doing some amazing things for the wildlife of Greece. Yeah, so super cool. We saw our first grey wolf. Yoo! Yeah, the white polar wolves were much easier to spot. Maria said that the grey wolves are notoriously hard because they have more of a natural instinct, this pack that they've got, to hide and shy away from humans as the wolves would do in the wild. So we just, just caught a glimpse of them running through the forest a little bit. It is always just so nice that there are people People who are helping actually mistreated animals. Yeah, because all of the wolves here were taken from zoos where they had deemed those zoos incapable of looking after them. And so here they can live in a habitat which is actually the same as their native habitat because there are grey wolves in the hills right here. So they are living in the same environment that they would in the wild, living a really good life here. Yes, the only difference is that they get their food delivered. Every morning, right on time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they live a good life. Yeah. So thanks guys, you're doing an awesome thing. And thanks Maria for showing us around. You are super awesome, super knowledgeable, and it was a really nice visit. Thank you so much. Thank you. So now we're going to be heading to a petrol station just Oh, the there was actually a water place. I was going to say that we were heading to a petrol station to buy some water, but if there's free water point, then let's take that. Yo, mountain water! Yeah, they have quite a lot of these we've seen in Greece where it's just like a natural spring running off the mountain and you can just stop and fill up. Oh, look at that, yes! That looks amazing. Doesn't get much fresher than that, look at that. Coming straight out of the mountain. Amazing. That is amazing. Look at that. Favorite lunch spot, little yo. Bakery section success. Yes, I found some croissants and some chocolate croissants as well. Yes. Yes. We have some nice bread again with our aubergine uh, salad. And we've got some spinach rolls. Good job, little. Okay, ready. Okay, yep. 
So now we've filled up on pastries. <laughs> yeah. It's time to hit the road. And it's really cool because we just got a message from Vins and Nata from the Instagram and YouTube accounts Take Me Everywhere. And they are here in Greece and we're going to meet them today. It is really cool because they have been traveling to up on a bike since January 2021. That's even longer than we have. Yeah, it's really cool. And before they did as well like massive journeys, like they were on the sailing boat in Brazil or like they're crazy guys. Yeah, so we've arranged to meet them at the top of this hairpin road that we're going to be taking today. We're going to take on this crazy road from the top down and then we're going to go and find a nice wild camp together. And we've got a spot that we found on iOverlander, which is like next to a river and it looks super peaceful. So if that works out, it's going to be absolutely awesome. And we should be able to have a nice camp with another two up overlanding couple. How cool yes. is that? <laughs> I love it. Well, what beautiful roads that we're hitting today. Look at this. Yeah, it's so incredible. I'm really impressed with Greece. I had really no idea how green and beautiful it is. Well, it really surprised me because when I thought of Greece, all I thought of was like the coast, basically, just where everyone goes on holiday. But yeah, there's the, like this whole mountainous forest, wild part with wolves and bears and lynxes. It's just, it's really surprising actually. Yeah, it's a wild place, hey? Greece yeah. is a wild place. Yeah, I'm really impressed actually. so crazy because we actually planned the route today that we wanted to go to this hairpin road which we thought would be really cool but actually we are already on the craziest windy road here in Greece ever so we're taking an awesome road to go and ride another awesome road yes, <laughs> yes. that's great but really this road is pretty crazy first class riding here Oh yeah, plenty of twisties, that's for sure. We've got some goats on the road. <laughs> got some goats on the road. Oh, it smells goaty here. Mm. Goat's goat cheese. Goat cheese. We haven't had goat's cheese in a while. Yeah. Whoa, there's a lot of Whoa. goats here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hello guys. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. Careful. And I love that like half of them have bells on as well. Yeah. Cute, very, very cute. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. We just stopped here in the mountains for a little break and look how insanely beautiful it is here. Look at this. Ten out of ten. Every single valley that we're riding through on this ride is just like an untouched nature valley with a beautiful river flowing through it. It's just Man, I'm really sad that we don't have so much time here in Greece. Seriously, it's a motorcycle paradise here. Yeah, I guess you never know until you go, hey? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are here in the beautiful area of Papingo. And look at this epic, epic mountain view ahead. I mean, what a vista, hey? This is absolutely insane here. Unreal. And they should be somewhere up here. Oh yeah, there they are. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> no. How's it going? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ollie. Hi, What's your name? Vince. Vince, yeah. Vince. Vince. Nice to meet you. Hi. How's it going, guys? Look at this. What a place! What a place to meet, hey! Yeah, no. What a place to meet! Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just by the river. Did you bring your uh, paragliding gear? You bring? Do you have Nike? Maybe we can try the light. Just an epic area, hey! Was it like this coming from from Albania? First time we Not so much. We did the whole day today. 120 miles. If you can make time to go in that direction, it's just, it's so good roads. So are you guys ready to ride the Papingo Hairpin Road? Yeah. Are you ready to ride that Papingo Hairpin Road? Yeah. Yes! So we're going to lead. We've got the drone up in the air and it's going to be a crazy road. 
I can see it already. Guys, look at this! Wow, what a stunning road, really, I can't believe it. This is absolutely crazy. How many hairpins does this road have? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> it's just so cool to be riding this road with another awesome overlanding couple. Yeah, oh the God. funniest couple in the world. Okay, so we're going to try and bring the bikes through this little gap in the wall and over to that light, nice grassy area there. But I don't know if these guys are going to fit. Yes! That's amazing. Are we going to fit? We'll be alright, hey? Amazing. That's a good spot. That's perfect. I think the wall was just like one centimeter Not perfect even. for your millimeter, for your panniers. I, I felt something. It was yeah, just it just on the edge. Oh, cool! All right. So our first mission here at the camp is to go for a swim because I am boiling hot. Boiling hot and stinky. Already swimming there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cold. How cold is it? It's, really cold. it's ice water. Yeah, but you have to go in at least to the neck for five seconds. You have to bring the spirit of Wim Hof. Ah, yeah. Okay. Do it. Come on, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, recommend you to jump in. That's probably the only way, isn't it? Oh my God, Natalia, I don't know how you can do I it. Washing clothes. <laughs> it's a natural. <laughs> Isn't that also? Okay, I'm gonna keep my shoes on. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on! You just do it because the camera's on. <laughs> I will do exactly the same. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Okay, no, no. There's not even cold. This is like big ice water. Very shockingly cold. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 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 my god! Ow! Okay, it's better now, hey? Oh, uh, oh my god! No, I can't! My legs are hurting! <laughs> okay, that's it. That's enough. For me, this kind of thing, you have to jump, otherwise, if you go slow, it's impossible. Go, 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 go! Yes! <laughs> Show me your whim half! <laughs> She's going! Good job! Good job. Good job. Oh. The first uh, shower in, uh, in two weeks or No, we swim in the hey. sea. Hey, I recorded that. You? Oh, He's on camera. <laughs> yeah, that's the monthly shower done. Oh. We are really clean. We're going to do a nice dinner with candles and... Perfect. It's perfect. <laughs>
Welcome to the penthouse, guys. Look at this. Welcome to the penthouse. There That's... is even some flags, you know. Wow! So you set it up, everything is already built in like this, yeah? yeah? yeah it's just... Exactly. The room the... is yeah, always was inside. Like... And then the tent is about the same size as our tent, like... Yeah. But then you have this whole extra the bit. Here is 130 on inside, the back. so we just fit cool, both huh? together and then okay. we fit all the we stuff can, here. Like this, you have ah. a very, very big space. Like If, if we're cool, we can all sit or... here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the living room. Yeah, this is the living room. Yeah. This is like the Tibet. Tibetan style, yeah, isn't it? Home money pad me home. So I'm ah, for yes. peace, please. Okay, on money pad me home. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy the life. Yes. <laughs> so we've got the tents set up over here. Beautiful apartment one. Beautiful apartment two. These girls are cooking up. What are you cooking up? Some really nice pasta pesto. Pasta pesto. Apparently, this is like the nicest pesto you can buy. In Albania. In Albania? No mm -hmm. way. This is like international pesto. What have we got here? Okay. Some veggies some for you, Ali. <laughs> okay. And some olives. Great. Greece, because we are in Greece right now. Greek olives, Albanian pesto. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. This is potato salad. Mm -hmm. I'm from Germany and we love potato salad there. Yeah. Vince is starting the fire over there. Okay, Vince is battling with a little bit of fire. So, so, la, la. fire. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if we can get this fire going. Yeah, and we'll have a nice pasta dinner. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. We will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> wait for the wind, wait for the night. Stand here while Take a little time Since you went away We have fire! 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 <laughs> Silence is everywhere And you're not